Welcome to Qt eLearning channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the carburization. Description of damage. Carbon is absorbed into a material at elevated temperature while in contact with a carbonaceous material or carburizing environment. Carburized steel is brittle and may spall or crack. Affected materials Carbon steel and low alloy steels, 300 series and 400 series stainless steel, cast stainless steels, nickel base alloys with significant iron content, for example alloys 600 and 800, and HK. HP alloys. Critical factors As illustrated in the figure, the carburization only occur when a critical combination of three conditions satisfied. Exposure to a carburizing environment, or carbonaceous material. Temperature high enough to allow diffusion of carbon into the metal typically above 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit, susceptible material. Conditions favoring carburization include a high gas phase carbon activity, hydrocarbons, coke, gases rich in carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane ethane, and low oxygen potential, in carbon steels and low alloy steels, carbon reacts to form a hard, brittle structure at the surface that may crack or spall upon cooling. 300 series stainless steel are more resistant than carbon steel and low alloy steels due to their higher chromium and nickel content. Carburization can result in the loss of high temperature creep ductility L. OS of ambient temperature mechanical properties, specifically toughness, ductility, loss of weldability, and reduced corrosion resistance. Affected units or equipment Fired heater tubes are the most common type of equipment susceptible to carburization. Carburization is sometimes found in heater tubes in catalytic reformers and coker units or other heaters where coke can form. Carburization is also encountered in ethylene pyrolysis and steam reformer furnaces. Appearance or morphology of damage The depth of carburization can be confirmed by metallography. Carburization can be confirmed by substantial increases in hardness and loss in ductility. Severe cases may also result in bulges, heavy scale, thin line brittle cracking, and or thick lip tube failures. Cracking can also have a crow's feet appearance. Prevention. Mitigation. Select alloys with adequate resistance to carburization. Reduce the carbon activity of the process environment. Add low levels of a reactive sulfur compound, typically less than 10 parts per million, to the process stream to prevent the absorption of carbon on the surface of the metal. Inspection and monitoring. Hardness testing. Carburization causes the normally non-magnetic rod and cast heat resistant alloys to become magnetic. Electromagnetic based techniques, eddy current. Metallography, replication. Related mechanisms. Metal dusting. 
Summary Description Carbon is absorbed into a material at elevated temperature while in contact with a carbonaceous material or carburizing environment. Conditions favoring carburization include a high gas phase carbon activity and low oxygen potential temperature range temperature high enough to allow diffusion of carbon into the metal typically above 1100 degrees fahrenheit affected metallurgy carbon steel and low alloy steels 300 series and 400 series stainless steel cast stainless steels nickel base alloys with significant iron content for example alloys 600 and 800 and HK HP alloys prevention select alloys with adequate resistance to carburization reduce the carbon activity of the process environment add low levels of a reactive sulfur compound less than 10 parts per million to the process stream inspection methods in the initial stages of carburization hardness testing field metallography destructive sampling and eddy current can be used in the advanced stages of carburization where cracking has initiated rt ut and some magnetic techniques may be used Review questions Question number one What are the factors favors carburization? Answer is A Question number two Most likely to be affected by carburization damage Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching, and please waiting us for next lecture.